All right, we're going to begin with the rising food prices and also the price of gas. Living on a single paycheck can put a lot of pressure on families. A father and military member says he had no choice but to ask for help at a local food pantry. News 3's Danielle Seda spoke with the dad and the food pantry and tells us how the struggle to put food on the table is impacting more people than you may think. New order. I need one produce, one bread. It's a one-stop shop for many people living on the peninsula, like Ahmed Ahron, a regular at the pantry who works full-time as an Arabic translator for the Navy. Because of COVID, several of his disabled and or sick family members living in the United States moved in with him. And it's been difficult to feed a full house with rising cost of food. I'm the only income provider for the family for almost like eight people. Like I'm married with two kids. I have also two in-laws. I have my wife's sister and I have her kids. Ahmed said he's tried applying for city programs but wasn't qualified being in the military. The cost of going to a conventional grocery store limited him from preparing a balanced meal for his family. But here at Five Lobes Food Pantry, he's been able to cook and serve his children meals that otherwise he couldn't afford. One meat from the meat cooler, please. Brother Tim Lucan has been the overseer of the food bank since 2009. He says his volunteers have prepared boxes of food that include fresh fruits, vegetables and meat to more than 8,000 families, like Ahmed's that brings an in income, but not enough. That happens, whether it's homelessness, medical bills, losing jobs. But in this economy, we've seen such a dramatic change. In July, the food bank took care of 242 families. And in August, it jumped up to 463. For many people like Ahmed, tight finances can mean making the choice between gas in the car or food on the table, but not anymore. Right now, I'm not even worried about starving at all or even like, like worried about food because everything I need is getting here. In Newport News, Danielle Seda, News 3.